Welcome to another patho video. Today let's talk about how the body breaks down hemoglobin. Magnifying a section of the spleen, we find the splenic cords, or cords of Billroth, located in the red pulp, which contain many small strands called reticular fibers. Most of the blood flows through the spleen quickly, but a portion of the red blood cells must slowly navigate their way through these reticular fibers of the spleen's red pulp. The passageways to get through the reticular fibers are so small that this requires folding of the red blood cells. Old or senescent erythrocytes lose this folding ability and the cells end up rupturing in the cords of Billroth. Intermingled in the fibers, macrophages are lying in wait to destroy and will phagocytose the old red blood cells. If you're a fan of the movie series Lord of the Rings, you may compare this process to the trees of Fangorn Forest, destroying the orcs. So please, if you're an old red blood cell, don't enter the cords of Billroth or you will be destroyed. As just mentioned, one of the important functions of macrophages, of primarily the spleen and also the liver, is to break down senescent or old red blood cells. Erythrocytes live for about 120 days and about 2 million red blood cells are destroyed each second with phagocytosis beginning the process. Each erythrocyte contains approximately 270 million hemoglobin molecules that each consist of four heme molecules and four globin polypeptide chains. Of the globin chains, two are alpha chains and two are beta. These globin polypeptide chains are broken down into individual amino acids inside the macrophage and can be used again to make new proteins. The leftover heme molecules are toxic to the body and must be broken down. The process begins with the actions of an enzyme called heme oxygenase, which converts the heme into a green pigmented molecule called biliverdin. Ferrous iron is also released from the center of the molecule. Ferrous iron, or Fe2+, leaves the macrophage by way of the transporter ferroportin-1. It is then oxidized to ferric iron or Fe3 plus by hephaestin and then enters the blood to bind to plasma transferrin. Most of this iron is used in the bone marrow as there is a large iron requirement in making more hemoglobin for the two million red blood cells that are being produced every second. The biliveridin is reduced inside the macrophage by biliveridin reductase into unconjugated bilirubin, which is an orange pigmented molecule. The process of a bruise changing colors is due to breakdown of red blood cells in the tissues as the heme molecule is converted to these various pigments, such as biliverdin and bilirubin. The actions of biliverdin reductase produce unconjugated bilirubin, abbreviated UCB, and is also known as indirect bilirubin. UCB enters the blood, and since it is quite lipophilic, it must be bound to albumin, since the blood is aqueous solution and is hydrophilic. Bound to albumin, the UCB travels to the liver for further processing. UCB enters the hepatocytes by way of passive diffusion or incompletely defined transporters. Once inside the hepatocyte, the unconjugated bilirubin has two glucuronic acid moieties added to it. This is done by the enzymes known as UDP glucuronosyl transferases. And this process makes the bilirubin much more water-soluble. 
Bilirubin glucuronide, or BG, is secreted into the bile, mainly by ATP binding cassette C2, abbreviated ABCC2, and then exits the liver by way of the hepatic duct. Some of the intrahepatocyte BGs are secreted back into the blood by the basolateral transporter called ATP binding cassette C3, where they can then be taken back into downstream hepatocytes by way of organic anion transporting polypeptides 1B1 or 1B3. The bilirubin glucuronide then exits the hepatocyte by way of ATP binding cassette C2 to enter the bile and hepatic duct. It is believed that this reuptake and secretion loop prevents saturation of upstream hepatocytes with bilirubin. Liver detoxification of drugs by way of glucuronidation and conjugation follows a very similar process. Bilirubin glucuronide, abbreviated BG, is the conjugated form of bilirubin and is also called direct bilirubin. From the gallbladder and liver, bilirubin glucuronide is dumped into the small intestine. Conjugated bilirubin, or bilirubin glucuronide, is not absorbed from the small intestine but travels to the colon, where it is deconjugated into urobilinogen by colonic bacteria. Some of the urobilinogen is converted into stercobilin, which gives feces their brown color. Some of the urobilinogen is also reabsorbed into the blood and is then oxidized to urobilin and then excreted by the kidneys to give urine its yellow color. Here's a summary now of the processes involved in the breakdown of hemoglobin. Please pause the video now to answer the following questions. This concludes the video on hemoglobin breakdown. Thanks for watching.